there's always two scoreboards. You ever hear that? Two scoreboards. You have a scoreboard that's here, that's outside, that you can visually see, all right? You got the scoreboard that's in here. In order to change the scoreboard that's out there, you gotta change the scoreboard that's in here, all right? And the only way to change that scoreboard that's in here is in here. Because once you start changing it here to here, I'll guarantee you that will change as well. How many of you have ever played a game that you were down by, let's say, 14, 20 points, and you came back to win? That's awesome. Everyone had that, right? So there's no, there's no reason right, to get down on yourself to think that the scoreboard out there, because you had to change this in here first, right? If you, once you changed it here to here, that changed out there. So on August 27th, Major Fissier was killed. Convoy came under ambush and he was killed, along with three of my other guys. And I, one of the hat, things I love about this hat here that Bucknell did a couple years ago, it's one of the guys, I just picked this hat out of, out of a, uh, the box and just so happened to be one of the guys that I lost in Afghanistan on the 27th of, of August. Major Fissier was killed. And for years, until even today, I have a hard time talking about that word legacy. And I think that it's important for me to, to talk about it because it helps me cope with that. I regret about the times that I never took that opportunity to really engage him in that conversation. That left the kind of like the mission over overcome that conversation, that opportunity. All right, because opportunities are few and far between. And you gotta seize those opportunities. And that's one of the things I want my legacy to be is seizing opportunities. Seizing an opportunity to talk to you. Seizing an opportunity to know that tomorrow I may have an opportunity to do something better. All right? To try to maybe inspire or 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 to do something that uh, is, is challenging to me. Okay. You have to ask yourself, what do you want your legacy to be? What is it that you want to have your legacy? What did you do today that if you weren't here tomorrow, that folks would think, this is what kind of person, this is the kind of character that this person is. This is the kind of integrity that this person lived by. This is the type of legacy that this person is leaving behind. You have to ask yourself, and you have to ask yourself that before you step out on this field. Because once you step out on a field, your legacy is going to follow you.